Washington Post is reporting new allegations of sexual misconduct by former CBS This Morning anchor Charlie Rose. CBS News fired Rose in November after eight women connected with his PBS program claimed he had groped them, exposed himself, or spoken to them inappropriately. Let's get right into this going off script with Amy Britton, an investigative reporter with The Washington Post. Amy, you have looked extensively into Charlie Rose, CBS, and the folks who have worked with him at CBS going back some 40 years. What have you brought forth in this reporting now that we didn't know before? Well, in our new reporting, we have 27 additional allegations of sexual harassment that have been made against Charlie Rose dating back to 1976 and as recently as 2017. And about half of these women worked with Charlie at CBS News. And what are the allegations that they're making? What happened? So the allegations include a wide range of behavior. Um, they include incidents of exposure of his genitals, lewd sexual remarks, groping in the workplace, uh, calls late at night asking them about their sex lives. I mean, a, a wide range of sexual harassment allegations are included within this report. I think one of the most disturbing aspects in your reporting is not that necessarily these things happened. Of course, they are very disturbing, the allegations that, that, that are made here, but that the women that these things allegedly happened to, they didn't just sit on this and start coming forward now and saying, hey, this happened so many years ago. They actually reported this to people at CBS over a period of, of what, 30 to 40 years? Exactly. So in our report, the first instance that we're aware of that someone notified a CBS News manager about Charlie's behavior was in the year 1986. And this was when he was making lewd sexual remarks to a news clerk who was filling in on the morning show at the time. And she flagged it to her manager and he said, you know what? kind of laughed it off and said, all right, you don't have to be alone with him. You know, that was the solution. You just don't have to be in his company alone at work. And the most recent allegations that we have that were flagged to managers came when he was working at CBS this morning uh, in recent years as a co-anchor. And those allegations were flagged to managers concerning, in one instance, a forcible kissing incident when he forcibly kissed a CBS This Morning employee at a work party. And in another case, a young woman expressed concerns about Charlie's um, out-of-the-office attention directed towards another young female colleague. H have you been able to find any instances, because I know it's a big concern of, of, of women specifically who, who have these incidents happen to them, that they're worried about coming forward, thinking that it can hurt their professional career. Is there any indication in any of the folks that you talked to that they felt that they were actually harmed at all in their career advancement by bringing any of these allegations forward? Absolutely. Uh, there is one case that, it, that happened very recently. Uh, it's a case that happened in 2017 where a young woman went to the executive producer of CBS This Morning, Ryan Cadro, and said that she was concerned about Charlie's attention toward her friends. Charlie was taking her friend out of the office, you know, on lunches alone and floating job opportunities that didn't seem to exist at the time. And this woman uh, is among several women who are planning to file a lawsuit in the coming days against CBS. And it is my understanding that in that lawsuit, there will be a claim of retaliation. It's Amy Britton, investigative reporter with The Washington Post. Fantastic reporting. We appreciate your time. Thank you so much.